Hello and welcome to your practice. Today, just wanting to find some fluidity in the body, find some movement. And I really like moving outside of mm, stiff structured poses while they definitely have their place. Um, I, I really enjoy letting the body be a bit more fluid. So I'm hoping to bring in some of that water element today. So I hope that you enjoy. Let's begin sitting, kneeling on our knees at the back of the mat, hips to heels. And let's take the hands in Pushpa Putta Mudra, which is like Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Open up the hands. It's one of my favorite mudras. It is a handful of flowers, an offering. So maybe something that you want to offer yourself today or acknowledging something that this practice offers you. Roll the shoulders back, broaden the collarbone, and breathe. Fill up and let go. In your next inhale, you can gently open your eyes. You're going to offer up here, so you can gift Lengthen the arms and then inhale, reach all the way up, sitting up onto the knees and exhale, hands, heart center, hips to heels. Open up the palms, Pushpa Putta Mudra. Inhale, offer it up, press down through the shins, lift up, hands press into the other, exhale, hands to heart center, hips to heels. Once more, open up the palms. Inhale, offer up, press down, lift up. And exhale, cactus the arms. So the arms open, the hands broaden. Heart comes forward. Maybe a little bit of the tail reaching back here. And then hands come all the way down, interlace, roll the shoulders back. Lengthen the fists down towards the backs of the knees as the heart lifts up. You can push the thighs forward just a little bit. And then exhale. As you hinge at the hips, slide the arms forward, child's pose. Tuck the chin to the chest. We're going to round coming up. Claw the fingers into the ground as you round. Soften the elbows, pull the heart center forward, the belly drops, and then press into the hands as the hips glide back. We're gonna do this movement several times here. Round the back, push down into the shins, tuck the chin to the chest as you claw the fingers, claw yourself up, and then reverse. Belly drops, elbows soften, heart opens, press away. Like you're being led back by the tailbone. Continue like this. When you come up, you can actively draw the hands and the knees towards each other. And as you come back, you can actively press the fingers towards the top of the mat. This helps to create some resistance. Inhale, rounding, coming forward. We're going to continue to come forward. Let the shoulders come past the elbows. Let the hips begin to drop and then soften the elbows. We're going to bring, lay the belly all the way down here. Forehead can touch the floor. Tops of the toes, pubic bone press down as the heart lifts up. This time press into the hands. So maybe we come up just a little bit more. Pull the heart center forward. You can maybe feel the belly stretches. Just a bit and exhale, fold down. Maybe the heart lands a little bit farther forward. Once more like this. Inhale, lift up, low cobra. And then press down into the hands to lift up a slightly more. Elbows pull in towards the body. 
Exhale, hinge at the hips, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Pedal out here. Inhale, lift both of the heels. Now listen up. We're going to take both of the heels over towards the left, but the left foot is gonna come all the way down onto the ground and the right foot will kind of be as if you were standing on a heel here. So the heel is lifted, toes are down. Hands are both on the ground, but the hips are moving back. Maybe the left fingertips tint. These are kind of spidered here and walk the fingers forward even more really big side body stretch. You can bend both of the knees so that you have some buoyancy. And then start to peek underneath the left arm, put more weight into the right hand, put so much weight into the right hand that the left arm lifts up really lazy like. And then exhale, wave it back down, downward facing dog. So we're making lots of space, both side bodies. Inhale, wave all the way forward, really round the upper back. Bring the knees down, soften the elbows, pull the heart center forward, and then continue to bend the elbows so that you wave all the way down. Forehead touches the ground. Inhale, lift up low cobra, stay here. Exhale, stay here. And then inhale, press down through the hands, roll the shoulders back to lift up high cobra. And exhale, hinge at the hips, come through the knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, heels lift and shift them over towards the right side. This time the right foot is gonna come all the way down onto the ground, solid. Left heel, left foot is into a high heel. And then the right fingertips spider up and reach as far as you can towards the right side. It's like a good hurt. Mm. And then gaze underneath the right armpit. Push down into the left hand so much that the arm begins to lift up. So you're in a big side stretch here. You can let it look however you'd like. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels, wave forward, big rounding. And then exhale, the knees come down, the elbows soften, and you float down, forehead taps the floor. Inhale, press down through the pubic bone, lift up low cobra. Exhale, stay here. Inhale, high cobra, press down into the hands, roll the shoulders back, lift the heart up. And exhale, hinge at the hips, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels and exhale, send them over towards the right. The right toes are in a stiletto here. Press down so much into the right hand that the left arm begins to lift up. And this time bend both knees. Both knees are bent here. Big rainbow stretch with the, with the left side body. And then bring the right foot to the left knee, just for a pause here. As if you had a headlight on your left knee. See if you can point it up just a little bit. Glue the toes into the knee. And then the exhale, downward facing dog. Very well, very well. Inhale, wave forward. And exhale, knees come down, elbow soften, heart lifts, and then waves down. One touch of the forehead. Inhale, half or high, low cobra. Exhale here. And then inhale, high cobra. That can look however you'd like. Protect your low back by engaging the core. Exhale, hinge the hips, untuck, or tuck the toes, downward dog. Inhale, lift the heels, and exhale, send them over towards the right. Right foot fully down, left toes lifted. Press down through the left hand to rainbow side stretch on the right. All right, this time, the left 
bend both knees so you have some more buoyancy. Take the left toes to the right knee. The left knee points up if it can. This is a really strong. One more inhale. And exhale, downward facing dog. And this time let's just wave forward and wave right back. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bend the knees almost to the ground. Pull the tailbone up as you press up and back. Let's do that once more. Inhale, wave forward. And exhale, bring the knees almost down. Booty up, wave back. Beautiful. Place, pick up the left toes and then spread them and place them down. And then the right toes begin to lift. Press down so much to the left of the right toes. Lift up, 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 especially through the right inner thigh. And exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, up and back. And exhale, step all the way through. Bring the back knee down. Round the upper back, press down through the front foot. Fingertips are wide as we open, cactus the arms. Exhale, wave the hands back, lengthen the front leg. It doesn't have to go straight. Inhale, we shift forward, glide forward, cactus the arms. And exhale, we come back. Maybe you even leave the arms up and they reach towards the back of the mat. Again, inhale, Lengthen, cactus the arms. And exhale, plant the hands, big step up. So lift the knee, press down through the right foot as the left leg lengthens up. Lift through the inner thigh here. Exhale, knee to knee, Shiva squat. Curl everything down, maybe forehead touches knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, knee to knee. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, knee behind knee, press, or the left foot finds the ground, curtsy pose. Heart comes forward, hips move back, especially the right hip. Hands begin to externally rotate, so the palms come up, press down through the feet, lift the arms. Right arm grabs left wrist, reach over towards the side. Big side body stretch. One more inhale. And exhale, bend the knees again. We reach towards the right. Bring the hands to frame the front foot as you step back with the left foot. Inhale, low lunge, gaze forward. And exhale, lengthen the front leg as you pour forward. Maybe come onto the front heel, see what it feels like to flex that foot. Once more with breath, inhale, low lunge, heart forward. Exhale, lengthen here, and then press down through the hands so much around the upper back that you can pull, drag the right leg back and up. Tripod down dog, from here bend both knees, and externally rotate, bo rotate both hips. So just staying here for a moment, pressing evenly through both hands. So I really like to bend the standing leg and think about externally rotating there as well. It changes it quite a bit. And we're gonna flip the dog. So you can take the back heel down, the right toes touch down. And I'm gonna rotate the heart all the way open and bend the knees so much that my hips are sinking down. Take the hand to the heart, open it up even more. Take the hand wide, and we're gonna send it back. We're gonna lengthen it. And as we lengthen the right arm, we let the heart follow. Steady breath here. Lift the heart, lift the hip point. Gaze begins this movement, begin to gaze down, right hand follows, right leg comes up, tripod down dog, and exhale, left, sorry, right foot to the left inner knee. This time, the left heel comes down, 
on the other side, side plank. We've been here before in a different variation. Right knee is kind of shooting up. Left arm reaches towards the top room, big side arch, rainbow in the body. And exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Tilting and whirling all over the place. Inhale, wave forward. Bring the knees down, soften the elbows, heart pulls forward, and then exhale, lay it down. Forehead touches. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale here. Inhale, high cobra. And back downward facing dog. Steady breath. All right, weight in the right foot, press down so much that the left leg lifts up. Exhale, knee to nose, press the ground away. Inhale, up and back, tripod, and exhale, knee to nose, step all the way through. Bring the back knee down, round the upper back, press down through the front foot, pull back on the left hip crease. Press down and begin to unfurl the heart. The hands kind of tint up like you're um, sucking the air up through the straw of your arms. Open and exhale, lengthen the front leg. Hands can come down, hips come back. Any version of this. Inhale, shift forward, open. Exhale, wave. Back, maybe the hands don't even touch. Inhale, come forward. And exhale, plant the hands down, big shift forward, L shape. And exhale, Shiva squat, knee to knee or knee behind knee. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, come down. Inhale, press and lift. Exhale, knee behind knee. And this time the right foot comes down off the side of the mat. Bend the knees, pull back on the left hip crease, curtsy pose. The hands wave back as the heart comes forward. Begin to externally rotate the hands, press down through the feet to lift the arms up. Left arm catches the right. Big side bend. Find some buoyancy here, some movement. One more inhale and exhale the hands, reach towards the left, drape them down, pet your dog, frame the front foot, back foot steps back. Inhale, low lunge, heart comes forward. And exhale, lengthen the front leg, doesn't need to go straight. Maybe flex the foot, see what feels good here. And we move with breath, inhale, lengthen. Or sorry, bend, lengthen the heart forward, bend the leg. Exhale, lengthen the leg as you pour forward. Press down into the hands, push away, make some space. See if you can drag the left leg all the way up and back. Now bend both knees, externally rotate both upper thighs. Both hands are firmly planted. We're gonna take a wild thing. So bring the right heel towards the edge of the mat. Weight into the right hand as the left toes touch down. I like to turn all the way around, take the hips down. And we're gonna drive this hand so we can kind of bend it in, spread the fingers really wide, energize, and then press down through the feet, drive the hand up and over, heart follows. Lengthening the right leg. One more inhale. Exhale, gaze begins this movement. Left hand comes down and follows. Inhale, tripod down dog. Exhale, left knee to the inside of the right thigh. The left, the right heel comes down to the other side now. We open up. The more that you can press the foot into the knee, 
the more um, strength you'll have. And you can also bend the standing leg if it's helpful. Coming back down, downward facing dog. Once more, waving forward, bring the knees down, bend the elbows, wave it down. Inhale, low cobra. This time we'll switch it up. Exhale here as you bend the knees, grab for the feet. Next inhale, press down, lift up, bow pose. You can think about as if you were squeezing a block between your thighs, hugging towards the midline, pulling the heart up, and exhale, release. This time, press back to sitting hips to heels. Steady breath. Slide the back of the left hand outside the right thigh, right hand behind twist. Broaden the heart, pull heart center forward. Steady breath. Switch sides. Back of right hand slides down. Let that be a lever to twist you around left fingers. Spider behind, heart open, breath big. And release. Pushpaputta mudra. Handful of flowers and offering. Next inhale, let's send it forward, offer it up, send it high. Hands close and exhale, sink hips to heels, hands to heart center once more like this. Open it up and offer. Inhale, shift forward and up. And exhale, sink down, hands to heart center. And maybe take the hands fully on the heart. Feel your heart. Feel your body sponging up the movement and the breath. And the bit of attention that you're giving yourself. Potent. Potent space that we create here on our mat. More than the eye can see. And let the hands fall into the lap. Few breaths in silence, just feeling in, noticing, listening. And closing symbolically, however you would like, I often like to bring my forehead down to the ground, just a humility and gratitude. Maybe touch the forehead down to the ground, tinting the fingers up. Thank you, thank you. And thank you. Such a gift, this practice, and really fortunate to get to share it with you. So please let me know what you liked, what resonated, what didn't, what you'd like to see more of. If you want to practice longer classes, head over to my membership service, CCY Studio. We've got workshops, classes, lots more space to dive in quite a bit deeper. So if you're interested in that, you can find the link below. And I look forward to practicing with you again, wherever that may be, maybe in person somewhere. I've got retreats and trainings coming up too, but wherever you are, big love and I'll see you next time.